Welcome, and thank you for taking a few minutes to see just how simple it is to complete your W-2 filings using the Atrix W-2 Preparer and complete e-file service. When you first open the software, you'll see that you have the option of filing Affordable Care Act, 1094, 1095s, W-2s, or any of your 1099s. Since we're filing W-2s, I'll make that selection and move forward. You will select a company. If the company has already been entered into our preparer, you simply select the one you're going to file for. If not, click Add a New Company, enter the company name, and the EIN for that company so we can begin filing. You have three options to enter your data. You can use an EFW2 file, you can use a CSV file, which of course is a spreadsheet, or you can enter the data manually. Atrix provides a CSV template that you can use to enter your data on and upload so it makes the process of mapping very simple. In this case, I'm selecting a W2 CSV file that I created using the Atrix template. To begin the mapping process, if you've not used the software in the past, you'll need to create a new W2 mapping. You can simply use the drop down menu to select the mapping that you have saved and click OK. This is the Atrix mapping tool. Since I'm using a save map, you can see that all the boxes are already green and have a small icon that shows that the data is linked. If you've not done this process yet, the boxes would all be white. You would simply move to the left-hand side and you can see a list of headers. These are the headers from the CSV file. You simply select them one at a time, move them to the appropriate box, and drop them in, and the data will be linked. Once you've dropped in all of that information, all the boxes are green and linked. You can save this mapping if you want to use it in the future for other companies, or simply click Mapping Complete and move forward. Once you've completed the mapping process, you'll begin the company setup. We'll ask you a few questions so that we can gather some information that we'll need in order to file on your behalf. The first screen gives you the opportunity to test drive the software. This gives you a chance to use the software, gain some comfort, so that when you begin filing your actual W-2s, you'll know exactly how the process works. You can do that with your first 25 employees, or you can do that with your entire data set. Since we're ready to file, we're going to click No Thanks and move forward. We're going to make sure we have the correct EIN. Some companies have multiple departments and keep their payroll separate. So if you have more than one set of payroll data, you'll have to let us know that. You'll go through each one separately and they will merge at the end. In this case, we'll use a single data set. The company information screen is important because this is what's going to show up on the W-2s that get sent to your employees. We need to know whether you're completing your own W-2s or you are a third party preparer filing for other individuals. You'll end up answering just a couple more questions the IRS wants to know who you are. This information is your tax IDs for each state. Again, we need all of this information in order to file on your behalf. We just have a few data verification questions. The new one this year, of course, is do you have anybody who is deferring Social Security taxes under the CARE Act? In this case, we're going to say no. We need to know if you have any members of the clergy. Do you want to use control numbers? And do you have any employees that have elected to receive their W-2 forms electronically? W-3 information gives you a chance to enter a control number if that's what you want to do. We'll need to know the type of filer. In most cases, that's a 941 filer. If you have third-party sick pay, we'll need that information. If you have an establishment number or you used a different EIN during the course of this year. And of course, if your business was terminated during the current year. You have the opportunity to truncate Social Security numbers as a security process. You can choose to use asterisks, X's, or you can choose not to truncate at all. Once you've completed your company setup, your information will be displayed in what we call our grid. This looks like a spreadsheet. It acts like a spreadsheet. It's a spreadsheet. The first thing you'll do is verify the employee information, making certain that the names are correct. If somebody was married and you forgot to change that name, this is the opportunity to do so. If someone has moved and you still have an old address in this situation, you'll need to go ahead and change that as well to make sure they're mailed to the correct spot. This information does not transfer back to your host payroll software. So we do recommend that if you're going to make changes here, you may want to go back and change it in your host software before processing your W-2s. 
Once you've verified your employee information, you click Next, and we'll take a look at Box 13 information. This is used if you have statutory employees, retirement plans, or third-party sick pay. Next, we'll look at federal wages, and that's going to include your federal wages, withholding, Social Security wages and withholding, Medicare wages and Medicare withholding. Next, we'll verify the states that you're filing for, and that will include wages and the withholding amounts that you are filing for. One last look at the data. You can verify those totals at the top of the columns, and then we'll continue on to the final processes and send this to the eFile Center. First thing you'll need to do is choose the level of service you would like. The complete W-2 e-filing service is by far the best practice. This allows Atrix to print and mail your employee copies as soon as the next business day, process all of the information required for electronic-only delivery, we'll file your W-2s and W-3s to the SSA, we'll file all state W-2s and any reconciliation forms that are required. We'll also make all of the W-2s for all of your employees available on a secure website. So if they happen to lose their W-2, you can give them the information they will need and they can retrieve their own W-2. You have the opportunity to have all of this information provided to you on a flash drive. This is a PDF archive of every form that is filed on your behalf. You can use this to keep it a fire safe or take it off premise. We'll show you a list of all of the states that we're filing for on your behalf. We'll give you an opportunity to review the data that we are filing on your behalf. Again, this is a complete list of everything that Atrix is sending to every agency that's involved. You can print this list and keep it on file for quick reference if you'd like. You'll have the opportunity to review the actual forms as they look that will be processed on your behalf. The first ones that you see here are the employer copies, and you'll have the opportunity to go ahead and print these and keep them on file if you'd like. The federal W-2s, of course, are in a two-up format as required. The W-3 will have all the information that's required as a transmittal of the wage and tax statements. And finally, you'll be able to review all of the state forms, including the reconciliation forms for each state that we are filing for on your behalf. Many states require a reconciliation form as well as copies of the W-2s. If there is any information that is missing from a form, you'll get a warning and it'll say, hey, check the red field. If you click OK, you'll see up at the top here, you need to answer a question. It's just asking you if you filed all of your quarterlies during the course of the year. Once you answer that, you can move forward once you've reviewed all of the forms to verify that the information is correct, you'll log in to the eFile Center in order to process the W-2s and send them to the Atrix Single Point eFile Center. You'll use the credentials you created when you enrolled at eFile.atrix.com and set up your company. The nice thing about this, of course, is if you're filing W-2s, 1099s, ACAs, 941s, unemployment, wage withholding, any report to any agency, you'll use the same credential. The first confirmation screen is just to make sure that we have the right company and all of the contact information that you provided when you enrolled at efile.atrix.com. The pricing information for your filing will be displayed again for your confirmation. This is there are 46 employees. You've selected the PDF archive. If you intend to file your ACA 1095 forms with us as well, you do have the opportunity to file them at a significant discount as we provide both forms at the same time to your employees. You'll need to use the complete service to file your ACA, Affordable Care Act Form 1095-1094, after submitting your W-2s and select to combine the W-2 and ACA printed employee forms and you will receive 50% off the normal price for your 1095 filing. This is to let you know that your W-2s will be mailed as soon as possible. Your federal W-2s and W-3 will be filed also as soon as possible. And your state W-2s and W-3s and reconciliation forms will also be filed. We'll, of course, have to garner a credit card in order to pay for the service. We'll need to verify the company mailing address so that we get that flash drive off to the correct place. And again, this last confirmation screen verifies the name of the company, the fact that we're doing W-2s, the address of your company, 
and the invoice amount. Once you've reviewed this information, you click Submit. Once the filing is received by the Atrix Single Point eFile Center, you'll be provided an AFID number. You can see here that 6155637 is the Atrix identification number. It's important because you'll need to have that if you have any questions about that particular filing. When you call or contact our support department, they are going to ask for that number. The number is emailed to you. It's also available to you at efile.atrix.com in that admin site. So you don't have to write it down and put it on a sticky note somewhere. It is available to you. That's just how easy it is to complete your W-2 filing using the Atrix Complete W-2 eFile service.